yes good afternoon class 8 now in this video of chapter 1 we learn about some new concepts of your chapter 1 the first one is that is additive inverse additive inverse now what is additive inverse this is also known as negative of a number negative of a number of a number now what is this suppose we have the number 5 so what is additive inverse what should be added to the given number so that the result is zero okay or you will just take the negative of this number so its negative will be or additive inverse will be minus 5 so if you generalize additive inverse of a will be minus a okay so if you add minus a to a result is zero Similarly, there is another concept or another thing, multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse. This is also known as the reciprocal of a number. So, if you are given a number a, its multiplicative inverse will be one by a. And what is multiplicative inverse? The number with which we multiply the given number, so that so that the result is one. So, multiplicative inverse of five will be one by five, as five into one by five is one. clear now 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 we'll look at an example of the question that will that we will solve using the property associativity commutativity okay now let's say example is minus 4 by 5 into 3 by 7 into 15 by 16 into Minus four upon minus fourteen upon nine. Okay, this is the example. Now, how will you solve it? You can write it as minus four by five into fifteen by sixteen into three by seven into minus fourteen by nine. Now, here we have used the property of commutativity and associativity in the multiplication yes now just simply solve it 5 threes are 15 4 fours are 16 this is minus 3 by 4 into 7 twos are 14 3 threes are 9 so this becomes minus 2 by 3 okay minus 2 by 3 so what it is 3 three, three cancel 2 two twos are 4 minus minus plus so this becomes 1 by 2. clear yes now let's move on it let's move on it with the next concept that is there in this chapter is representation of the rational numbers on the number line representation of rational numbers on number line now we can easily represent 1 2 3 4 5 6 means we can easily represent integers on number line as integers are also rational number okay uh, but suppose we have to represent 2 by 3 2 by 3 and how will we do it just look at it draw the number line this is a zero and this is one as we know 2 by 3 is less than 1 2 by 3 because numerator is less than denominator Now make three equal part in between zero and one. Okay, zero and one make three equal part. One, two. So one part, two part, three part. So this part will be one by three. This part will be two by three. This is three by three. That is one. So this is our two. That is how we represent rational number on the number. Clear? Thank you.